This experiment shows you how to set up two different types of telescopes, a Galilean telescope and a Kepler telescope. To make a Galilean telescope, you need a low power plus lens. If you have more than one lens to choose from, hold them over your instruction sheet and assess which lens has the higher magnification. The lens with the higher magnification also has the higher power. Place your low power plus lens on the wooden scale at the opposite end of the bench to the target. Stand well back and look through the lens. You can now see an inverted minified image of the target. Since the target is not a light source sending out light rays, we cannot simply put up a screen to visualize the image. So we use a pin instead as a stand-in object to reflect the plane where the image is formed. To find the correct place for the pin, Observe the image and the pin while moving your eye line slightly right and left. As long as the pin and the image do not move to the same side and at the same speed, appearing to be interlocked, you need to adjust the distance of the pin from the lens. Once the pin and the image move in the same direction and at the same speed, this place is called the non-parallax place. Once non-parallax is achieved, take a high power minus lens from your tray, place it between the pin and the lens and remove the pin. This lens is now your eyepiece and you now have your Galilean telescope. Look through your eyepiece and observe the image. Magnification can be increased and decreased by increasing and decreasing the distance between the two lenses. You should put the lens at the position where you have the maximum magnification for taking your measurements, the details of which are in your handout. To set up your Kepler telescope, do the same as with the Galilean type except with a high power plus lens as your eyepiece. The image that you see when you look through the Kepler type telescope will be magnified and upside down, not upright as in the Galilean telescope. You should then take your measurements, the details of which are outlined in your handout.